Hi, today's book is Good Night Moon. You probably know this book. It was written by Margaret Wise Brown. And the pictures are by Clement Hurd. There's the cover. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon. And a picture of a cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens. And a, li a little toy house and a young mouse and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady who is whispering hush. Good night room. Good night moon. Good night cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light, and the red balloon. Good night, bears, and good night, chairs. Good night, kittens, and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks, and good night, socks. Good night, little house, and good night, mouse. Good night, comb and good night brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. Now I'm going to show you the signs that I used in the story. One I used a lot is good night. So good starts with good and goes down straight into the night. That's like the sun going over the horizon, just like that. And we started with the great green room. In this sentence, great means big. So we make two fingers and pull it apart like it's big. And great green We've done green. Room. Make two walls and two other walls. There was a telephone, just like the sign you already know for telephone, and a red balloon. Like you're holding a balloon and blowing it up big. And I've showed you red before. 
picture is a new one. You take your open hand, put it on your face like you're putting a picture of yourself up on a wall. This is like your bulletin board. And a picture of a cow. There's the horns of the cow. And the cow for jumping over the moon. This is like a person jumping on their feet, but with a cow jumping over the moon, it's going jumping really high over like that. So you can go jumping over the moon. Moon starts a little bit like picture, but it's like a thin little crescent moon. And you put it up in the sky. And there were three little bears. We've done some of those in other videos. Sitting on chairs. This is the sign for sitting. And with the sitting on chairs, because there's three of my show, sit, sit, sit. Like that's the three different bears. And two little kittens. You can do kitten. You can just do kind of cat for short. Or you can do cat plus the baby if you want to really make sure you're talking about a kitten. And a pair of mittens. Mittens, you pretend like you're pulling it on one hand, pulling it on the other. You could show two if you want to for a pair, or you could just show the mittens. And a little, remember we did the great room, and this is a little house, same two fingers going in. A little toy. We've I've talked about play before. If you do it with a T, that means that's one way of signing toy. A little toy house. You make the roof and the walls. You want to do it with your whole hands because that's like the whole roof and the whole sides of the house, but no floor. And a young mouse. This is a sign for young. It's like that youthful energy inside you. A young mouse. And like you're just tweaking the little mouse's nose. Comb and a brush are signed a little simile. Comb, you make your hand into the comb and you kind of comb your hair. Brush, you pretend you're holding the handle of the brush and you brush your hair. And a bowl full of mush. I showed you bowl in the snack time video. There's the bowl and there's the cereal. Mush is like hot cereal, like oatmeal or cream of wheat or something. So you just do it just like cereal. And a quiet old lady. You could, that's a lot of words if you want. You can stick them all in or you might want to leave one out depending on how quick you are trying to go. Quiet, you take your two hands and bring them down like this. Old is like you've got a long beard, like an old man might have. And then lady starts like the sign for mom and then goes down to here. Lady, that's lady or woman, who is whispering. So you make all four fingers by your mouth and you make them go just really small like this, like a little tiny whisper. Who is whispering, hush. And for hush, you can just do the gesture like you're familiar with when you say shh. Then we have a lot of the same rooms. We say good night to each of the things. I'm just going to go through the ones that we didn't already do. Um, oh, light is a new one in the good night part. Light, you can just show like the light up in your ceiling and it's shining down on you. And a lot of the same things. Clocks is new. Clock, you point to your, uh, your wrist where you say time. And then you make like a little circle, like a clock on the wall. So clocks is like a two part sign. And then socks, you take like two knitting needles and you kind of go like this. Cause in the olden days, people used to knit their own socks all the time. And mostly these are the same words. Good night, nobody. You can do make two zeros and this can mean nobody or nothing or there isn't anything. So I use that for nobody. And stars, where socks is two fingers down like knitting needles, stars goes up, kind of like you're pointing to the stars. And they kind of brush on each other. It makes me think of like striking sparks with sometimes flint or certain rocks will make sparks. And you're kind of pointing to the stars. That's stars. The sign for air, the one I usually use for little kids when it just means like everything around us, is I just kind of make a big gesture around like that. You would use a different sign for an older child in a science class. And then noises, you just point to your ear, and it's at the last part, it says good night noises everywhere. So I do good night noises, and then again, just use that gesture to mean all around us, all the noises that we're saying good night to. All right, good night. Thank you for watching.